Islam continues throughout the year. That we prayed regularly for 30 days. Let us make sure we pray the prayers of Eid, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, Fajr, all of these prayers from Eid and henceforth after Eid. Let us make sure we pray them. Let us fear Allah in our dress code and our interactions. Women especially, I remind you my dear sisters, that Allah Azza wa Jal has given you special responsibility. Baby, you can call me a superman Shoot your toes and talk and eat a Cooperman Hey guys, welcome back to our channel It's your boy, Jesse Keegan And your girl, Fanny Lungu And we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse So right about now, we're gonna do another reaction But before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody out there For giving us these reactions And we wanna thank everybody out there for subscribing to our channel And we wanna thank everybody for getting us to 6,700 You're the real assembly 700? I'm just... It's only like mm -hmm. yeah. So um, we want to get to 10k in two days, and I know we're gonna get there. And uh, yeah, I know we're gonna get there. 10k in two days. So uh, we want to thank everybody out there. You're the biggest MVP man. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Jesse Keegan, and my girlfriend goes by the name Fanny Lungu. And we are a couple who just you know does reaction videos. We do vlogs sometimes. We do challenges, and if you want us to do vlogs just let us know we conducted um a poll the other day and uh, most of the people say that uh a number of people uh, say that probably we should create another channel for for what for uh, for our vlogging and stuff like that and a number of people say like we should, should just post it on this channel right here we will decide on that one but i guess we're gonna change i mean we're gonna start another channel what do you think I'm sure we will. Yeah. So um, right about now we're gonna do another reaction, and this one right here was suggested by a lot of people, and uh, they said that we should go react to things you shouldn't do on E day, and then bracket it warning. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. And therefore, brothers and sisters, Eid is a religious celebration. Notice, even the celebrations of our religion, they are related to worshipping Allah. The first of them, Eid al-Fitr, is related to fasting the month of Ramadan. When we've done such a big deed, we thank Allah. We don't become arrogant, we thank Allah. This is what Allah says about Eid. That you may praise Allah because He has guided you, because He has blessed you with Ramadan. And Eid al-Adha is the timing of Hajj, that great deed. When we finish up Hajj, even if we're not doing Hajj, it's such a blessed time, it's such a blessed opportunity that when those 10 days of Dhul Hijjah are over, we finish them off with Eid al-Adha. Even our celebrations are linked to the worship of Allah Azza wa Jal. We thank Allah for Ramadan, we thank Allah for Hajj, for the blessings of Ramadan, for the blessings of the 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. So the two Eids are meant to thank Allah Azza wa Jal. Also realize brothers and sisters, Sisters, that the correct position amongst the scholars is that Salatul Eid is wajib. And this is a ikhtilaf amongst the madhahib. In my humble opinion and the opinion of many of the madhahib, it is wajib. And this means if you're able to get off from work, now this year, alhamdulillah, it is falling on a weekend, so 95% of us, we don't have work on a weekend. Uh, for those who are, who are in work, if they're able to take off, then it is wajib to take off. If you cannot take off without a severe loss or a job threatening or something like this, then Allah knows your situation. Otherwise, brothers and sisters, the stronger position amongst the scholars, it is wajib for every Muslim to come to Eid. So much so that when the lady said, O Messenger of Allah, what if I'm in my... My, my monthly cycle. He said, even you, you come, but you don't pray, you just sit in the back. And so the lady in her monthly cycle, even she is supposed to come to the Eid prayer, but she doesn't actually pray. So then how about those who don't have that excuse? And a, a, a reminder and a caution, brothers and sisters, that after these 30 days, let us not finish off the month on the very day of Eid with sins. Let us not finish off with something evil. A'udhu Billah Astaghfirullah. Brothers and sisters, after 30 days of worship, let us remember that Islam continues throughout the year. 
that we prayed regularly for 30 days. Let us make sure we pray the prayers of Eid, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, Fajr, all of these prayers from Eid and henceforth after Eid. Let us make sure we pray them. Let us fear Allah in our dress code and our interactions. Women especially, I remind you my dear sisters, that Allah Azza wa Jal has given you special responsibility, special and extra responsibility, that Allah Azza wa Jal has asked you to dress up in a more modest manner than He has asked the men to dress up for reasons that are understood and known to every, every one of you. And so do not turn the day of Eid into a day of sin. Fear Allah Azza wa Jal. Fear Allah Azza wa Jal in how you dress up on that beautiful day. Make sure that your beauty is hidden for those who are deserving to see it. Your husband, your maharim, and don't show it to those who have no right to see it. Also realize brothers and sisters that we live in a minority in America. And this is the final point here. You know this is, we are a minority here. Look what happens at Christmas. Look what happens at Thanksgiving. Our children know that the world is celebrating. Well, sadly, on Eid, they do not understand the world is celebrating. We need to become the world to them. We need to show them what does it mean to be a Muslim on Eid day. Maybe the world does not celebrate. Maybe there are not big discounts, Thanksgiving or Christmas or Easter, but we should make their lives into the most beautiful days of the year. Brothers and sisters, Perhaps you do not understand or perhaps you do. Go back to when you were a child. Think of the days of Eid with your own mother and father. Do you not realize that a time will come when you won't be here and your child will? You want your child to think of those beautiful days he had with you, celebrated Eid with you. You want him to cherish Islam, to cherish his childhood, and you want the days of Eid to be the most beautiful days of his year. And so do whatever you can, spoil them rotten on this day, brothers and sisters. If you're gonna spoil them, this is the day. Make them feel like it is an Eid. Give them gifts, take them out. This is their celebration. Make them proud to be Muslims. Do whatever, you, even the Prophet so some famous hadith, he came home and there were some little young girls, seven, eight years old, they were playing the daf and they were singing songs and Umar comes and you know who Umar is. And he said, Astaghfirullah, la hawla wa la quwwata la billah. How can this be happening in the house of the Prophet and, and these were young girls, they were not old, they were not 20 years old, they were seven, eight years old, they were singing some innocent songs. He said, leave them, O Umar, leave them. Let the people know that our religion has some ease in it. You don't have to be so strict. Within halal, obviously, right? These are not astaghfirullah, bad songs. Or bad. You get the point here. Young girls having some duff, playing some songs in Aisha's presence, some beautiful songs about noble, nobility, about chivalry, about courage. So the Prophet told the Sahaba, let the people know that there is ease in our religion. Let go out and have a good time that within the confines of the Sharia, take your children to maybe some putt putt golf, maybe something that they like to do, whatever they like to do. Here at MIC, we're having a, a huge festival for the children. Give them that spirit and make it regular and repetitive that inshallah ta'ala, when you're long gone, when they become at your level, when they have their children, they will then pass Islam down and pass these beautiful cherished memories down. This is the day of Eid. Sadly, the world around us does not celebrate it. We need to show our children what this day means. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us the real victors on Eid. May our Eid be a genuine Eid, not just an Eid of clothes and an Eid of perfume and an Eid of greetings, but an Eid where Allah Azza wa Jal has forgiven our sins, where He's accepted our ibadat, where He's made us of those who have fasted these 30 days and prayed these 30 nights and prayed on Laylatul Qadr so that all of our sins are forgiven. Allahumma inni da'in fa'aminu. I mean, it's a self-explanatory video. I mean, just talks about um, what you shouldn't do during a uh, eat day. I mean, don't sin. You get it? That was just self-explanatory. I mean, why would you even sin? You shouldn't sin. Make sure you uh, stay holy the entire month. But it doesn't mean. It doesn't mean someone yeah. can't sin. Yeah, you know, of, some of course. people, some people will be righteous from the first to the thirtieth, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then yeah. after that, they revert back to whatever they. Yeah, they yeah. The yeah. Bad things they used to do, perhaps. And even like, I don't know, probably some they're even waiting for that that day to end so that they can go back to to evil and stuff like that. I don't but know. They can have an excuse to sin. Yeah. Which it shouldn't be an excuse. I mean. Even when you say that, even after the holy month, just pray as, as I mean, make make the holy month also be like a daily drive for you, like for the entire 
like for the other months and you, you get it like coming months and days and whatnot. It shouldn't be a thing that because of the holy month that is finished so let me get back to my evil deeds or let me get back to what I used to do. I mean that, that's so, that's bad. Yeah it is bad. I mean you've touched on every point. What about, what do you think about what he said about dressing? Dressing is important. Eat, I mean. eat is a, um, a celebration. Yeah. So people get dressed on that day. Yeah. But he asked people to dress appropriately. Yeah, I mean, dress appropriate, especially um, uh, women. You know, women are, are beautiful creatures. So you... Men are handsome too. So. Yeah, of, of course men are handsome too. But women are supposed to cover themselves up for the one that, that they're going to be their what? Their husband? Not boyfriends. <laughs> Husbands. Husband. Yeah, so... Husband, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the key of like. I think we once touched on this point. Remember yeah. how we said when we're here at school, people during Ramadan period they dress as they should, but once mm -hmm. that is done, they just go back to exposing themselves. Yeah, it shouldn't be like that. I mean, after Ramadan, uh, you should just dress modestly, uh, the same way you did in Ramadan. I mean, it shouldn't be a thing of. Uh, because it's a holy month, let me do it for me. I mean, you'll be lying to yourself and sure. you can be, you'll be punished by Allah or something like that and it's going to be really bad for you. Anything else you want to add? No, I'm just interested in your thoughts. What about when you said the children should be left to sing whatever songs they were singing? They should be what? Left to sing whatever songs they were singing. They should be left? Yeah. Leave them to sing whatever songs they're singing. Oh, children, yeah? yeah, young children. Yeah. I mean, you know, kids are. Because we sit here and think like this religion is very, very strict. Yeah. Children should be allowed to be children, and when they grow mm -hmm. up, I'm sure yeah, they'll learn. Of course. You know, children, uh, they are so vulnerable. I mean, they they don't they know, know nothing. They know nothing. You get it? They are so young and toddlers. So as they grow, they tend to learn. I mean, let a kid be a kid. You get it. You can't tell a kid to do something. You know, even if you tell a kid don't do that, he's gonna go back and do it. So let a kid be a kid. You get it. So I mean, what he was saying is correct. Yeah. Let the children sing whatever they want to sing. As they grow, they they, they will learn and understand. But as they grow, you should also like teach them the right way. The right ways, yeah. Yes. What so, else was spoken about? I think uh, that, that's pretty called, much prayer, prayer and freedom in this religion. Yeah. That's about it. That's pretty much. It was a good message overall. Yeah, it's a really good message. I mean, it's short and precise. It explains everything about what you shouldn't do on Eid day. I mean, most of the Muslims understand. Everyone understands. Mm -hmm. I like the yes. emphasis on the prayer one though. Yeah. Just don't put aside prayer just because Ramadan is done or whatever you're yeah. praying for has come to you. You used to pray five times, go ahead and pray five times a day. Don't try to tell yourself by yeah. pushing everything aside. Yeah, true. Anyway guys, if you feel like we've reacted to this video in a better way, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down in our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about this uh, video right here. Things you shouldn't do on Eid day. If you have better um, information about about this video, just let, let, let us know in the comment section. We're here to learn guys. We're here to educate ourselves and also we're here to you know educate you guys too. And yeah, just let us know in the comment section what do you think about the video. And uh, um... And another important thing guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, the more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video. And peace out.